ओम साई राम दिस इज युअर कृष्णमूर्ति जे फ्रॉम जे के वेदांश अस्ट्रो टुडेज टॉपिक इज युअली आई यूज टू पोस्ट हि अबाउट अस्ट्रॉलॉजी टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू पोस्ट ए पोस्ट रिगार्डिंग शिवरात्रि this is a scientific explanation for shivaratri usually people will say what is maha shivaratri immediately elders will say no maha shivaratri you have to fast then you have to you should not sleep the whole night you have to meditate on shiva and other things our youngsters i see previously previous generation they accepted yeah our elders said like that so we had to go to the temple we had to otherwise we are not going to temple most of the people used to go to temple various temples the people used to say uh, if you see under eight uh, shiva lingas shiva lingam that's good for you something like that why all these things the whole night all the temples will be open and people used to go there to keep themselves awake see in those days people Uh, don't have much light and other things if they sit at home they may sleep also so for that they used to fast and then they will go to all shiva temples or go to some shiva temple sit there and do bhajan sangirtan something like that some spiritual activity they will do why it is so then we have to why it is just a spiritual religious ceremony we should we fast and wake up full night any scientific explanation for this nowadays youngsters are asking like that this is all superstitious why should we stay awake for this night something like that some people to keep themselves awake they'll watch some dirty movie some uh, i mean uh, movie that present time movie or something like that no that's not the thing see fasting and then meditation means you have to keep yourself awake same way you should meditate upon yourself that is called meditation okay let us come for this any scientific explanation for this yes it is that we will come to that that is the purpose of this video see here see we all know our earth rotates that rotation makes all of us feel all these seasons on account of rotation of earth around the sun and then moon rotation and everything the season and amavasya purnima all these things on account of this rotation it happens our earth is surrounded by luminiferous ether this is i uh, got it from wikipedia you can go and see that what is luminiferous ether luminiferous ether means what wikipedia is saying is a light bearing was the postulated medium for the propagation of light various scientists from 18th century onwards they are going on debating on this and uh, uh, even einstein also he has formed some theory on this in his early stages of uh, uh, his life and all these things are happening see beautiful thing is our scientists woken up now only but years years some thousands of years back our rishis found this ether and they say when it will be at its peak that when at its peak only that is some mahashivaratri see here the next slide shows the ether wind due to the earth rotation that ether wind then when it is very very uh, um, at peak that it shows due to the solar system motion in the milky way so our earth is revolving around sun that all we all know now previously our rishis said way back earth is moving around the sun but western scientists said no 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 it is static sun is round going around the earth but afterwards they found 
the correct uh, truth. So every time ether's effect will be there, but at certain period ether ether's force will be more. That period our ancestors said it is Mahashivaratri. Every month, well, this Mahashivaratri will come once in a year. At that time, ether force will be more. That's why they call it as a Mahashivaratri. See, Shivaratri will come every month. That time also ether's force will be there, but the less intensity. See, ether will be two types. One is spring type, another is called fall type. The spring type has got more power because this particular type at a particular time will move from west to east. At that time, our earth will move from east to west. This will happen on Mahashivaratri day. What a wonderful thing. See how really I am getting a goosebumps here. See our ancestors, they found this without telescope, without any scientific instruments. They found this. This is the time the ether's force will be there. Okay. To explain further in common man's language, because see when you go very deep in scientific way also, people may not understand. That is why our ancestors said they have hidden this scientific meaning and they have given a religious thirst on this thing. So that common people, because in those days, the education level was very low. Only certain sect of people or certain people only have that education. Other people, they work in um, land and uh, other activities they were doing. Pottery, uh, iron smith or something like that. So to understand, to make the common man to understand, they give the religious thirst. To explain further in common man's language, every day what we get is early morning sun at sunrise. So every day either it is like a early morning sunrise. At that time, sun is very warm. Not that much he hot. So that every day either like that. During monthly Shivaratri, what we get is like sun rays at 9 a.m. During Mahashivaratri, what kind of ether, what is the ether's intensity is like a hot summer sun rays during noon. See, during uh, summer, peak summer, this uh, what we say is uh, Agni Nakshatra. At that time, sun will be at, uh, sun, uh, that uh, heat will be at peak. That kind of intensity the ether will have during Mahashivaratri. During Mahashivaratri day, earth, moon and sun, all three will be in straight line. When it will when it, when it be more effective on Shivaratri day from 12.15 to 12.45 pm in India, see every country it will vary, the ether energy will be at, at, at highest. What that energy will do? Why should we bother about ether energy? See, what the, what the, our ancestors said. See, during this period, you sit erect. That means, your the spinal cord should be in a straight line. Why that straight line? Because all our nervous system are in that spinal cord only. It is connecting all these things are connecting to our brain and pituitary gland. This pituitary gland only controls all other glands in our body. Apart from that, this Sagasrahara Chakra is there in here. So that is why here the people will have a, because it will be hot always, they will have a oil also there. It will, see when you sit straight and do the meditation, then what will happen? This ether energy, that full intensity of the ether energy will be more. It will come through the Sagasrasa Chakra and it will go to that uh, penal gland and to keep other glands in a good shape. From 9 p.m. to, that's why people say early to bed, early to rise. So 9 p.m. to 2 p.m. we get, we get one um, uh, chemical called melatonin. 
that melton melatonin melatonin is essential thing for our good sleep deep sleep it will induce good sleep deep sleep that is very essential for our this body well being if the body is in a good shape then only our intelligence our mind everything will be in a good shape otherwise our thinking power will be clouded this melatonin by 2 pm it will keep us very close to cosmic energy this is called circadian rhythm we call this ether as shiva's energy that is why during mahashivaratri what we are to do we are to awake and meditate not to while away chit chatting gossiping and other thing because while meditating your body soul mind intelligence all coming under one line some something like sun moon earth are coming in the straight line no same way so that's how my dear friends this is luminiferous ether is a, is at peak today please observe shivaratri what see see we call this ether ether energy as shiva you call it any name there is no really creed and religion that is why sanatana dharma this hinduism is called see in this sanatan dharma there is no kind of you call it any name god is one you give the name so when you meditate who whatever the religion you belong you sit and meditate your energy level will go up like you are charging your battery once in a year you are see every month you are charging every day you are charging every shivaratri you are charging then mahashivaratri super charging your body this is all shivaratri we have to celebrate my dear friends if you like this video please subscribe share and comment thank you thank you very much god bless you